And right now, we're just a week away from the 50th anniversary of the death of President John F. Kennedy and days away from the same anniversary of a visit JFK made to Miami. So why did President Kennedy come to Miami? Our senior political reporter, Michael Putney, is here with the answer in a look back into history. Lori, he came here to make a speech, but John Kennedy also came for purely political reasons. And of course, that meant getting up close and personal with voters. This photo from November 18, 1963, shows President Kennedy on the left and Florida Senator George Mathers in Miami being greeted by well-wishers who were able to get uncomfortably close. It was a whirlwind tour. He'd been in Tampa before that. Now he's coming to Miami. This was almost the start in some ways of the 1964 campaign. Posner is the author of Case Closed, a well-regarded book on the Kennedy assassination in Dallas. Four days earlier, Kennedy had been in Miami. Makes it the November 18th trip to Miami so interesting in terms of the assassination history is that this was a hotbed of anti-JFK activity. The failure at the Bay of Pigs had left a group of furious anti-Castro Cubans who were based living in Miami and viewed Kennedy very much as a traitor. In December 1962, Kennedy attended a rally at the Orange Bowl to honor the Bay of Pigs fighters, but many Cuban exiles never forgave him. Miami police were out in force for Kennedy's 1963 visit. Right, the placards among the 80 police who were there at the airport when he arrived and the dozens of hundreds of people who greeted him with great enthusiasm, that anger wasn't present, but it was underneath the surface and the Kennedy people knew it. The hard reality of life in much of Latin America Kennedy spoke here 50 years ago to the Inter-American Press Association. In the afternoon speech in Miami, he was very clear that we are not going, we, the United States, we are not going to allow other countries in Latin and Central America to become communists. He put that red line out there to say, Castro got it under the wire uh, before I became president, but it's not going to happen again. Well, of course, it did. The Castros are still ruling Cuba and South America, as said Hugo Chavez, Evo Morales, among others. Who knows what would have happened if John F. Kennedy had lived? Lori?